Dem. D E H M E. Sorry. All right. Well, today we are in Lemoyne, Pennsylvania. We are sitting outside of the Goodwill. We're about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Oh my gosh, she's darling. I think she's missing an umbrella. But I'm gonna buy her anyway for $2.99. Stick her in there. <laughs> Let's see what else we can find. One of those plastic Hummel lookalikes. There's some praying hands. Oh my gosh, look at all the cute little figurines. <laughs> She's probably a hobbyist piece, but she is quite darling. What is going on here? My goodness. I think those are maybe supposed to look like Royal Dalton figurines, but she looks like she's like seen, she just saw something terrifying. <laughs> I'm not really here for the expression in her face. Oh, right, well, here. A Daisy Japan picture. $4.99 on that. I like it. We'll take it. It would be wonderful if we could find an umbrella to go with our little figurine we just picked up. Oh, what is this? Designed by Eric Stauffer. I think that one is made in Japan. There's a cute picture. Our own import. Interesting. There's no cups to go with it though, so I'm not gonna mess with that. The cat is really sweet, but that is made from resin. I don't know, I just sometimes I'll pick up resin, sometimes I won't. Today is a day that I'm not picking up resin. Unless I come across something that's absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. I need to tell myself no more trays, but also that's gorgeous. We'll take it. <laughs> And then check out these three little pigs down here, will ya? $2.99 on those. They are very sweet. Let me think about those a moment while I check out this picture. Picture, I mean, base. It's got like Art Deco lines. I like that about it. Probably has some age due to the, judging by the discoloration on the bottom. So I'll take that. This. this is Dem. D E H M E. Oh, sorry. All right. Well, it's two ninety nine. I don't know really what that is, so I'm gonna put that back. And I guess I'm gonna go around the other side of the shelf. We'll just scoot around. <laughs> All right. So I circled around and decided to come down the aisle the other way. See what we could find. Oh my gosh, look at these cute little babies. Oh my gosh, $4.99, $4.99. I think we need those as long as they have all their fingers and toes. Yes, please. I love those. And then there's also, oh, it's plastic. I was like, I was, wait. No, that's glass. But it's like stuck together. I don't know, I think it might just be decorative. I like those plates, but I feel like I looked at those the last time I was here. It's a very lightweight ceramic. I was expecting it to be a heavy pottery piece. What is this thing? Weird. It's made of resin. $9.99. Huh. It's a little, a little different. Okay, oh, <laughs> she's sweet. She's got a chip. Let's do this next. A lemon tray. All right, well, I think I'm gonna scoot on over and check out the vases. I don't know if these piggies are so cute, aren't they? Maybe we'll just grab them. I'll grab the piggies for $2.99. I guess today's a figurine day. 
just chrome or something. That maybe they were gonna be silver. No such luck. <laughs> All right, well, let's scoot on down to the vases and see what we can find. We have to look at this. Matina decor products. What is that? Oh, it's Department 56. It's really neat looking. And I did see the stangle back there. I was not oblivious to that. All right. Let's go around the corner. Oh, those are cute too. <laughs> Here we are in colored glass and vases. This is painted on the inside and it holds a hole in the bottom. So maybe that was intended as a lamp. Are those the Avon versions? <laughs> no, they are not. $3.99 on the blue milk glass. The Avon uh, blue glass, the blue open, it always gets me. I always pick it up and I turn it over and I'm like, oh yeah, this is Avon, I forgot. <laughs> All right, what am I missing? I'm staring right at the shelf. I think that was it. Oh, this is very cute, what is this? Oh, there's a Mark Salmon Falls, $2.99. Little flower pot. We like Salmon Falls, we'll take that. There's some more. Reticulated plates. Hmm, one is milk glass, and then one is that blue uh, milk glass. Four ninety nine. I like the blue one. Gosh, this tray is messing everything up. Okay, so here we are in the mugs. You guys said I missed a golf mug in my last video. I knew I knew it had to be there, and I was totally just oblivious to it. I doubt that it would still be here. You're going to be in the comments. It's right there. You don't see it. No, I don't see it. I like this. Merry Christmas. I don't see it. I don't know. What is this down here? It's kind of an interesting pattern. This is made, I'm assuming, Grace. Hody Slindo. Made, yeah, right there. Made in Grace. <laughs> it looks Greek. Okay, well, I'm going to venture. <laughs> I'm venturing out to the other shelves that are not all glass and figurines and all of that. But this is really neat. $6.99. Um, I think it's an ashtray. That's why it has the little um, divot right there. It's kind of a weird ashtray. Like, hey, here's a bird staring at your cigarette ashes. Oh, well, I like it. I could be used as a trinket dish. Throw your rings in there. There we go. Neat vintage picture of Jesus. But my walls are filled up at the antique mall. I don't have any more room for artwork. And when I do have room for artwork, I have lots of the shop that I can fill it up with. This is a cute little butterfly, $3.99. I don't see any signatures on it. Sometimes these pieces are designer piece pieces, but not that one. That was just a nice butterfly. There's a copper artwork. There's a little guy golfing. <laughs> what does it say? Marble base made in Italy. That looks like it's vintage. Fanny Farmer candies. Maybe it's just made to look like it's vintage. Look at that. One leaf is for hope, and one is for faith, and one is for love, you know. And God put another in for the luck. And then there's like some sort of code there. I, I don't know what the code means, but. You know, the last time I bought that pewter door here it ended up being by like a, an artist. Um, and it sold on the website for like $116, I think. I listed mine for $95 and it sold. So I'm not opposed to picking up little weirdo <laughs> metal things. I neglected this shelf. What is Ropo? It looks Italian, but it is in fact Japanese. What is this? Oh, that's a garlic press, I think. Hmm, is that painted? 
What is it? House of Goebel, West Germany. Interesting. I wonder if that's worth anything. I might try looking that one up. What is this? Oh, it's coasters. How fun. <laughs> it's made of plastic. It's made to look like marble, I think. Maybe, or maybe it's just dirty. <laughs> $2.99. That's vintage. I like it. We'll take it. Oh, this is missing uh, the shakers that go with it. Those are kitschy and vintage. I think they're trivets. See if there's anything else. They definitely neglected this entire shelf. What is that? <laughs> it's hand blown. You can see the pontal scar on the bottom. Maybe just a little votive. Of course, it doesn't have a price. Of course, it doesn't have a price. Do you see any prices on the shelf? No. So, I might let them know it doesn't have a price. So at least then it can get priced, but I can't buy this um, because they have a policy that if there's no price, they don't sell it. So I will have to leave it behind. There we go. That's the benefit of circling around aimlessly. <laughs> Especially while they're restocking. $2.99 on this. Um, it's Marigold Carnival Glass with a butterfly pattern on it. I wish there was more than one. Oh my god, do you see what I see? I just sold, I, oh my gosh. I bought one of these from this exact Goodwill like a few weeks ago and I just sold it. And here's another one. What do you think of that? That's crazy. That's nuts. I can't believe that just happened. This is so cool. <laughs> $14.99. Oh my goodness, I love the frame on that. It's like a made in Mexico frame. And it's a, I'm trying to feel the material. I think it's a cloth. Oh my gosh, I could stick that in my booth. That would be perfect for like a winter. Oh my gosh, that would be great in a cabin. Hmm, decisions. Um. <laughs> okay, did I not just say I don't need artwork? I think I'm going to buy it. This was sitting on the mug shelf. <laughs> it's a pink satin glass perfume for $2.99. Like, I'm over here like, hey, let's check the mugs again. I'm going to like that one. I found an anthropology mug the other day that had that same seam. And I was like, oh, it's a studio pottery mug. And I turned it over. I was so surprised it's an anthropology on it. Um, I'm not sure about that one. It's just... It's a little crooked for me, if that makes sense. It's a little crooked. I love picking up art pottery, but that one's a little crooked. Right, I see maybe some Ray Dunn back there. Military dad, probably Ray Dunn. Yeah, Ray Dunn. And what is that behind it? What? Always be yourself, unless you can be a unicorn, then always be a unicorn, that makes sense. There you go. <laughs> it's a cat. It's a cat in a frame. I think that's Needlepoint. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I know it's a cat. I at least know that much. Um, and it's not a, I thought, Kate and I were out shopping yesterday and she found this really cool frame and um, it was a picture of a needle point inside of a frame and we <laughs> it took us a moment to realize that. Um, but this is an actual, actual fiber arts piece. So I'm gonna grab it for $3.99. It's fantastic. Thank you. Sure. Perfect. All right. Must you just let me reach in the cart and grab this? That's definitely vintage. Um, I don't remember who makes it, but it's like a fiberglass material. All right, so I just discovered this tin. I just really love the graphics on it. I opened it up. There's a little bit of rust on the inside, kind of matches where it is on the outside. Let me see what it says on here. What does it say? Century 
Resources, Columbus, Ohio. Vintage tail. Hmm. Yeah, it's got some chipping on the base. $2.99. Over here in the lamp section. Thought, thought those were mushrooms at first, but they are not. Tea light and glue. So that's like a tea light lamp. Okay, well I just found this folded up on the shelf and I thought that was really nice. Um, I think it's probably like a souvenir piece or something. Oh, I see now. This is the way it hangs. From here? Maybe that doesn't make sense. Anyway, I just like the birds on it. They look like kind of like birds of paradise and the color is really fun. So, um, was there, where did I see? Oh yeah, $3.99. Ooh, now I'm messing everything up. Uh, $3.99 is the price on that. So I'm gonna stick that in here. I've tried looking up that uh, House of Global bottle twice. I don't know, I think I'm gonna put it back. I mean, it's kind of cool, but also, I don't know. I'm not really excited about it, so it'll sit around for a minute. <laughs> this I also picked up uh, for $2.99. I think those are currants. Um, it is made in France. And I loved the really heavy gold gilt on the handle, so. Um, let's put the bottle back and see if we can find anything else. Oh, there's some nice soap. <laughs> then let's get out of here. That's a really fancy dish for $2.99. You can see it has an etch design. Unfortunately, the gold has uh, worn out. Hmm, I wonder how you would fix that. There's no chipping around the edges, it's just worn gold. I see it's hand, uh, hand blown. Let me grab that and then what is this? Compliments of Booker's Drug Stores. Oh, that's cool. Maybe we'll look that up as well. Alright, well I couldn't find anything with a quick search, but it's $2.99. I'll grab it. Only $2.99. Why not? I've actually walked by this a few times, and every single time I walk by it, my eye goes straight to it. So this time, I decided to pick it up. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a little vase, or if it's a red candle, I don't know what it is, but check this out. It does have a signature on the back. It is pewter, which makes sense. Uh, pewter is pretty soft metal. It's just bizarre. It's interesting. The purpose, I do not know, but the fact that it's signed very carefully slide it in there. That fish is kind of cool. I guess they, somebody bought that when they were in Belize. How much is it? $4.99? I don't know. I feel like that would be more of a booth piece, probably. hands on velvet. It's a first. All right. Well, I am home now. I drove all the way home. Um, I'm, I'm lucky because that giant painting fits exactly from this side of the car to that side of the car. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, if it was any bigger, I may have been in trouble, but I made it work. Um, so anyway, my total spend there was $120. And I think we've got some pretty good stuff today. I'm very excited about all those little figurines. I think those are gonna do well. It really, I racked it up quick. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't aware that I was, <laughs> I was like, wait, 120 bucks. Oh, all right, whatever. Um, but we did get some cool stuff today and a lot of little smalls, but you know what? It really does all add up. It does, it all adds up. All those little sales add up. Um, and I, I, I've come to appreciate that. You know, it doesn't always have to be a big sale, so. We're gonna get out of here now. And I will, well, we're already home, so we're already out of here. But I'm gonna go inside now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you.